Bob Cantwell, B&G Foods posted an impressive first quarter not too long ago, a little over a week and a half ago. Sales were about $217 million for the quarter. You beat on the top line, you beat on the bottom line. So what drove it? Well, a couple of, of our bigger brands. Ortega was up $5 million. We had a recall on it in the fourth quarter. We came out of the recall very strong. And Pirate's Booty, which has been performing extremely well since we bought it, were really the driving force of the two, of the, moving the business. How are you energizing your classic brands, like cream of wheat, things that have been around for a long time? What are you doing on uh, social media, for example? So how are you marrying the new technologies with the old brands? Well, it's very important to us because we don't have the money to do big advertising. So social media is a very important aspect of moving those, what we call our legacy brands, and really just trying to get them more relevant to the consumer base today. And you know, that's what we look to do. And Cream Weeds is an example of we launched an instant cup product, um, single serve, to try to get to the new millennium customer as opposed to the aging baby boomers. Well, you're also buying some brands as well not too long ago. I think a few years ago you bought uh, Pirate's Booty. So how do you allocate assets with regard to the older brands versus the new brands? Well, as we bring businesses on, we add assets to our organization. You know, we, we run a very lean organization. Uh, that's why we have such great margins. But, you know, we add, you know, we bought a bunch of businesses from specialty brands, including the Bear Creek Soup Mix, which was our last acquisition. And we add appropriate asset, you know, resources as we need them. And what about this new trend towards healthier eating? Less people are eating at McDonald's, less people are eating mm -hmm. canned goods. How does this affect B&G's business? Well, we entered and ventured into the snack business, and those are healthier, better for you snacks. So from that side, we moved into, into that class with the better for you snacks. On the rest of the brands, we understand that over the next zero to 10 plus years, cleaner labels are gonna be very important to today's consumer. And we are moving our products to cleaner labels, taking things out that just don't need to be there, that have been there since the 1950s. And speaking of takeouts, Warren Buffett is buying Kraft along with 3G. Uh, maybe any way down the road he'll pick up B&G, or is there a way that maybe you'll pick up some of his brands? Because there's probably going to be a lot of flux once that deal gets cemented. Right. Well, we're hoping that merger of those two will lead to a lot of, of the Kraft brands that exist. Kraft has a number of brands in their portfolio that would fit B&G. And what we look for is brands under $100 million in sales, high margin businesses, strong cash flow generators. And Kraft certainly has a lot of those smaller brands that hopefully does not fit what their plans are for a much larger food company. All right. Thanks a lot for coming Thank on, you. Bob. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Street.